What's up guys, this is iTweaks here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you a new tweak called Disturb Please. Now this is actually a pretty cool tweak depending on if you use your Do Not Disturb function but what this is going to do is give you some more granular options for your Do Not Disturb feature. So if we jump to the settings here you don't even have to tap on Do Not Disturb or I'm sorry the Disturb Please settings panel right here. You can actually scroll all the way up to the original Do Not Disturb settings panel and it's going to enable all these features right within the original settings panel so that's pretty cool now right up here at the top you obviously have your kill switch so this is going to enable or disable do not disturb right down here is another original feature that's going to allow you to schedule from when to when you want do not disturb to be enabled now down here is an added feature by disturb please that's going to allow you to actually decide when you want do not disturb to be enabled so let's just say that we work every single weekday so we have to wake up early on Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday but on Friday and Saturday that's the weekend so we don't really need do not disturb to be enabled because it doesn't matter if we get notifications late at night or not so you can do it just like that also down here you have allow calls from specific groups which is also original uh, feature of do not disturb but right down here you actually have allow messages from different groups so you can tap on that you can allow messages from everyone no one your favorites all contacts or any other groups that you have set right down here now I have mine set to my favorites and if you check my favorites I'm actually the only one in my favorite so you can see that I have do not disturb enabled right now but if I send myself a text message you'll see that I actually get the notification as you can see right there and it plays the sound and everything so my favorites are enabled to bypass do not disturb now if I get a text message from somebody else take note of the notification badge right there if I get a text message, you can see that it just goes up just like that. So I didn't actually get a notification right here. Just the badge icon went up, and that's because Do Not Disturb is enabled. So those are the features that you're going to get with Disturb, please. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, guys, until next time, this is iTweaks with iPhoneHacks.com.